This video is brought to you by Ugreen. Welcome to part one of my desk setup guide series, where I'll explore all the essentials and inessentials necessary for achieving the most suitable, productive and inspiring desk setup. In part one, we talk about necessities, headphones, storage solutions, monitor arms and more. Be sure to watch the other parts of the series like peripherals at the end of this video or in the description below, where I'll be placing and updating my recommendations as time passes. Let's start the guide with monitor arms. Since they are incredibly versatile, I've been a massive advocate of monitor arms. For starters, a good monitor arm can turn any monitor into an ergonomic display that allows continuous adjustments and orientations, helping you reduce neck pain while being very productive for specific workflows, like coding or creating vertical social media content. Second, elevating the monitor on an arm immediately reduces the clutter on the desk and and leave space for everything else, something of great importance if you have a small tabletop. Reason 3 is cable management. Since plenty of monitors come with decent I.O. on the back, essentially serving as a hub, the cables on the back of the monitor can turn into a complete mishmash. Decent arms often come with cable management solutions, which is totally worth it. It's not a coincidence that monitor manufacturers are starting to develop products with built-in arms. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe because why not? There are plenty of choices out there when it comes to monitor arms. Some allow only vertical adjustments, others come with various joints for optimal customizations, and third have the ability to prop not only one, but two and even three monitors. In my dual monitor setup guide, I talk more about such arms, so if you're interested, I'll leave a link to the video below and at the end of this one. Whatever setup you have, you have to keep in mind the following. First, be sure your tabletop and arrangement is sturdy enough to carry an arm. If you have a lightweight tabletop, essentially made from carton, think in the direction of replacing it. Second, I'd recommend going for a heavy duty arm. Although expensive, this is an item that you can use for years, keeping at your disposal while you change and upgrade your displays. A heavy duty arm will be able to hold from the smallest to the largest 40 inch ultra wide while providing a smooth adjusting experience something cheaper arms cannot provide. I'll leave a link to my favorites below. Next, desk shelves. Having a desk shelf not only breaks down the monotonous look of any desk by elevating it vertically and adding a complementary color tone, but also adds additional functionality to the setup. A shelf can help you raise your speakers to your head level, give you extra storage room in the form of drawers, hide cable management, raise the monitors, hide a Mac or a console, and so much more. IKEA offers a very simple Eloven shelf, but they used to have a much better solution in the past that I believe was called Alex. Few companies offer great shelves out there. My top pick is from a German company called Balolo. Their cockpit shelf is on another level. You can think of it as a desk setup on top of your desk setup. Thanks to the mounting grid underneath, Balolo introduces accessories to attach different shelf locations like a laptop dock on the side which keeps it in secure floating position. An alternative would be their laptop riser that allows the laptop to serve as a secondary monitor in an SBS or side-by-side -side setup. In my studio, I keep the laptop cocooned in the side dock while also rocking a MagSafe holder to charge my iPhone, as well as the phone tablet stand for when I want to keep my iPad in front of me. On the other side of the shelf, I have the floating tray that has three catch-all trays to keep all sorts of knickknacks inside. Cable organizers are also an excellent way to keep everything neat and tidy and note how how everything floats. If I were to spill a drink, for example, I'd be sure most valuable items are safe and sound. Continuing the topic of organization, having an additional drawer unit to the side of the desk will ensure all your documents and accessories have a place to chill and wait their turn. The king of all drawer units is of course the Alex drawer by IKEA, but there are plenty of other choices out there that you can go for. I'm currently using an ROG IKEA Offspring in black, which has a built-in storage on the back to hide a power strip and tuck in cables. And this brings me to the four accessories that you should definitely think about. The first one is cable canals. Cable canals are great to stick underneath tabletops or behind drawers to keep all cables at bay. There are solid ones with routing holes to help you keep everything in check. The next item is zip ties or Velcro ties and of course, double-sided Velcro tape. We use Velcro tape all the time. Stripping docks and hubs underneath tabletops and attaching power outlets on the back of drawers serve as great 
all the time. Finally, casters. If you have a sit-stand desk, think of casters because with them you'll be able to move your desk around as you see fit. It helps you working on the back when making upgrades or simply when you want to clean the office. In terms of power, it is worth investing in a decent power outlet with surge protection. Most of my setups require over 5 outlets because if you have a standing desk, you'd want to plug it in in that same outlet first. You can also think of international standards. If you shop from different countries, a power strip with multi-standard outlets will eliminate the need to use adapters. Aside from a decent power strip, it's also a good idea to think in the direction of a decent charger like this Ugreen Nexode 140 watt GAN charger. With just a single USB-C port PD3.1 that pumps up charging levels up to 140 watts, you can charge the 16-inch MacBook Pro from 0 to 56% in 30 minutes, 1.8 times faster than a 65 watt USB-C laptop charger. The Ugreen charger uses smart distribution to divide the power among all plugged-in devices, while the thermal guard system scans temperature 800 times per second, safeguarding your devices from overheating. In combination with the two USB-C ports and one USB-A, you can charge two laptops and a phone at the same time at speeds necessary for a multi-device tech user. It earns extra cool points for coming with a braided USB-C cable in the box making it perfect for a desk setup or when traveling. Be sure to grab your Ugreen 140 watt charger by clicking on the first link in the description below. Next up are desk pads or mouse pads. They come in various sizes and materials and serve four purposes. As expected, the primary purpose of the mouse pad is to help the mouse glide as effortlessly as possible. This is determined by the pad's material, where gaming pads are a clear choice providing an excellent and frictionless experience. Purpose number two of the pad is to protect your wrists. If you work at a desk for long hours, this is important. In terms of protection, the mouse pad also safeguards the tabletop, reducing fading while shielding it from soft drink and coffee stains. Finally, mouse pads are a choice of aesthetics. They boast comfort and coziness, taking any desk to another level. I personally prefer a shorter yet wider pad so that they don't stretch too deep into the tabletop while covering a big portion of it in terms of width. When it comes to materials, you can go for a gamerish like style or pick a more premium looking like this Orbit keypad that also adds additional features like the ability to hide some paperwork underneath and the additional magnetic cable organizer on the side. Now, in most cases, I prefer my own creation, which I called Enough mouse pad, which is made from 100% post consumer polyester, making it environmentally friendly and soft and gentle on the wrists. I'll put links to my favorites below. Next up is lights. The choices here are only two. You can either have a desk lamp or a light bar. Desk lamps are endless when it comes to options, but no matter the type of desk lamp, one thing is for sure you'll be either poking your eyes out or it will be reflecting on the monitor, obstructing your picture. Still, a desk lamp is better than no lamp since it helps your eyes relax when doing evening work instead of suffering office lights for those durations of the time. This is where light bars come in. Light bars have become very popular recently and for a good reason. They sit on top of your monitor, most often than not drawing power directly from the monitor's USB, and they're designed to light up your tabletop perfectly without hitting the monitor screen or obstructing your vision. When working for prolonged hours, especially during the winter when the day is shorter, a light bar is a must if you ask me. You can go for pretty much any brand like BenQ or Xiaomi, and I'll make sure to link some of my favorites below. Next up is headphones. Although you can use earbuds as your audio source of choice, I wouldn't recommend going for them, especially if you are to use them for hours at a time and daily. I'm not saying that they're bad for your ears, but I don't find them good either because they can lead to itchiness and irritation if worn excessively. Instead, a better recommendation on my side would be over ear headphones. I will focus on sound quality less here, but rather on comfort. I'm talking about something that fits your head nicely and wouldn't be too top heavy or too tight clamping your head. Also, when shopping for headphones, look for models with good microphones if you are a meetings person and of course ANC. Active noise cancellation will help you focus primarily if you work from home and need to separate yourself from kids and neighbors. Okay, chair. I can't stress this enough. Invest in a good chair. If the computer is your work, you should think of your chair as you think of your car. It's an essential asset to your well-being and productivity. I have a dedicated video on desk ergonomics that talks about proper sitting positions and chair settings, so feel free to check it out below. Regarding chairs, I care about good seat padding and adjustable armrests that keep my hands close to 90 degrees to the desk. 
lumbar support and head support is essential as well. When shopping for chairs, an excellent feature to look for is also the ability to lock your chair in various leaning angles because few can stay upright and buy the book all the time. Bonus items are a decent temperature retention ball to help you stay hydrated, a fine notebook handy for jotting down notes and a pen that inspires you to use. If you enjoyed this video, check out these desk setups to see some of my examples in action. And depending on when you stumble upon this video, be sure to check out the other guides part of this series. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E. Over and out.